we were on a patrol in, in a little suburb of, of southeast Baghdad. Um, and we were moving through town in pretty tight streets and alleys. And we actually got ambushed from three sides. Uh, they initiated with some RPG fire. Um, they had several machine gun positions on the perimeter. And uh, they actually had a, a, a pretty well, or pretty, pretty good defense in place. Um, my f number one truck was disabled due to the RPG rounds and, uh, and the excessive amount of small arms fire that it was receiving. And uh, in my lead truck, I had, uh, I had a Staff Sergeant Higgins was my first squad leader, and he jumped out and uh, immediately started receiving fire from the building tops all around him. He, uh, he ended up, I think, with, uh, with about five different rounds in both the front and back plates of his body armor. And uh, him and his entire squad got out, immediately had to return fire just to get out of the vehicles and seek additional cover and, and start maneuvering on the enemy. And it was, just, it was that way for pretty much the entire platoon. So um, there were several people that night that, that received rounds in their body armor. I think that when we pull out the plates, it's just a, it's a reassurance on something that we already knew that, that, that the stuff does work. Um, I believe that uh, the reports that we got back from the, Somano the Somalia incident was evidence enough, and that got circulated army wide that the, the body armor does work because they had soldiers in Third uh, Range Battalion get hit in the plates and survive. So we knew it worked. Well, you know, the, the changes that the Army has made in all of the equipment since we started deploying to Iraq and Afghanistan has just been leaps and bounds beyond anything that I experienced for, you know, the first 15 years of my service. Um, soldier feedback is now held in the highest regard. Uh, the equipment is tailored to that. Uh, you know, the, the constant advancement in trying to make things fireproof, bulletproof, you know, survivability has just been the paramount idea or, or concept that we've been shooting for, and, and I think that it's working. From the very first experience that we had with the stuff, you know, I, I was 100% confident in my body armor. Um, we had gotten in several small arms engagements, and and not once did I ever doubt the equipment that I had uh, as far as even the, the optics and lasers on my weapon, the body armor on my chest. Uh, any of the equipment that I had has just been the utmost confidence in, in the equipment. Another incident, we were doing a patrol along the Diala River, and it was middle of the day, and we actually started receiving sniper fire from across the river, and uh, my RTO, took what we think is an SVD round uh, in the back plate and, uh, and it actually punctured the, um, the Viper, which is a, a laser rangefinder um, system, and then into his, his back plate, did not penetrate the plate. And, uh, he did get knocked to the ground now, and then, uh, but he survived. To, to, he did not return back to the United States, you know, he, he sur survived continue patrolling and everything else like that. Probably every combat brigade out there has had soldiers shot in the body armor and survived. You know, that's just, it's probably common experience and common knowledge now of, of soldiers that have actually received rounds in the plates, survived. They, they come back, change out the plates with their supply sergeant, and, and they're ready to drive on some more.